Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to review the Relay CC Carbon Star Racing Frame. Now it's been claimed that this is a clone of the FERC and it does look very much like it. And I was promised by FERC that the core frame is going to be sent, but unfortunately they didn't send it yet. And that's the reason I can't compare the frames together, but hopefully it's going to arrive soon. And then I will be able to compare the Carbon Star with the FERC core V1 or V2, depends on what they're gonna send me. So let's see what we're getting in this package. Inside we're getting a simple Matic PDB, which I'm not going to use, spacers and screws, a battery strap, foam standoffs, this 3D printed part for mounting the camera or the flight controller inside, we'll see, a battery bottom holder, and voila, the frame. I must tell you, it looks better than what I expected. The carbon finish is pretty good. And if I can call it sexy, it's a very sexy looking frame. And I do have to see the V1 or V2 core in person in order to compare them because this is a very, very similar product. And currently they are similarly priced. There was a price war between them and Real ACC dropped the price and then FERC dropped the price. I think this one costs right now $70 and I think FERC costs $75 or something like that. The carbon star consists of three main parts. First of all, we have the top part that covers the flight controller. And as for this 3D printed part, it is used to mount the FEV camera. You have to place it on top and then just put your FEV camera in the middle and then we can close the top part. We'll see how it will fit my Runcam L2. If it's gonna be a problem, I'm going to use the Runcam Mini instead. The bottom part also have this removable part. The weight of the frame is 103 grams. So it's actually a little bit heavier than the Real ACC Blackbeard frame, which I've already reviewed. The distance between motor to motor is 19 centimeters. The total length is about 16.5 centimeters. And the total height is about 60 millimeters. It will be a little bit hard to mount ESCs on the arms. You can put the ESCs over here, but I think it will be best to use a four-in-one ESC controller. It's gonna make your build easier. I've previously reviewed the F4 Magnum all-in-one FPV stack, and you can see that it fits perfectly in the middle. The mounting holes for the flight controller and ESC is 30.5 by 30.5 millimeters, so this all in one stack fits here perfectly. So this build is gonna be a very easy one. I must tell you that I was very wrong. Actually, it wasn't an easy build. And even using the all in one stack wasn't easy at all. Everything is very cramped inside. Mounting the ECs on the side is not a bad idea because it's going to save you some space inside. So I take it back and I do recommend you to use ESCs on the side and I will show you on my full build video what happened in this build. I'm going to use the Timotor F40 Mark III. These are 2600 kV 2306 motors. The recommended motors are 2204, 2205 or 2206 motors, but these motors are going to do fine. You can see you do have a degree of flexibility of choosing your motor. I can fit these 2306 motors without any problems. But overall, the Carbon Star 190 looks like a very solid frame. The main downside of the design is that if you break something, you won't be able to replace it. You will have to replace the entire frame, but it's the same issue with any unibody frame. If you break an arm on a unibody frame, you will have to change the whole plate. Maybe over here is going to be a little bit more expensive. It costs about $70. So it's more expensive for like the Blackbeard, for example, that costs only 20 something dollars. I do think that it is important to support the original creator. And hopefully, as I mentioned earlier, I will get my hands on the original frame soon and I will be able to compare them side by side and mark the differences and see if it's a real clone or not. So I thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the build video. So I'm going to build everything together and take it for a test flight. If you have any questions about this frame or the parts I'm going to use, feel free to ask it in the comment section below and see you on my next videos. Goodbye.